Hi, I'm Nolan Kapodlowski, and this is your UWW TV Sports Update. The Warhawk football team capped off a successful regular season by going 8-2, 6-1 in conference, and earning a share of the WEAC championship along with the UW Lacrosse Eagles. Since UW Whitewater had the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against Lacrosse with their win earlier this year, the Warhawks also claimed the WEAC conference's automatic bid into the NCAA Division III playoffs. However, the Eagles received an at-large bid to get into the field as well. Any home games the Warhawks host in the playoffs will be broadcast right here on UWW-TV with coverage starting 15 minutes prior to kickoff. While the fall semester is winding down, the same could not be said for the UW Whitewater basketball teams. The men's team lost to Hope College by a score of 72-68 on November 14th and also took on North Central College on Saturday the 19th. Entering the North Central game, the team sat at 3-1. They'll now pivot to their home matchup against Ripon on Saturday, November 26 at 7 at night. After that, they'll start conference play with two more games the following week. UW Lacrosse comes to town on Wednesday the 30th, also at 7, and then the Warhawks travel to UW River Falls for an away game against the Falcons on Saturday, December 3rd at 5 in the evening. For the women's team, they too are coming off a two-game stretch where they defeated Illinois Wesleyan 70-61 and faced Ripon also on November 14th and 19th respectively. Both Warhawk teams have found success early this year, with the women's team boasting an undefeated record at 3-0 entering their matchup at Ripon. The next few weeks will consist of four games for the varsity squad. An away game against Edgewood is slated for Tuesday, November 22nd at 7 at night, before they return home to host Calvin on Saturday the 26th, two hours earlier at 5. WEAC play will begin the following week at UW Lacrosse in a battle with the Eagles on the 30th at 7 in the evening before a game at Catch a Gymnasium against UW River Falls on Saturday, December 3rd at 3 in the afternoon. The Women's Varsity Reserve will also have a home game facing Wisconsin Lutheran on Monday, November 28th at 7. And we'll have more sports on UWW-TV right after this. Life is defined by moments. In those moments, student athletes at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater shine. With world-class facilities and coaching staff, we set our Warhawk athletes up for success in the classroom, in the community, and in competition. Through our championship culture, we prepare you to make an impact in the future. Learn more about the Warhawk Athletics family at uwwsports.com. After a meet at Concordia University of Wisconsin on November 19th, the wrestling team will be back in action after Thanksgiving break. They'll have a conference matchup with the Pioneers of UW Platteville on Thursday, December 1st, starting at 7 at night. They'll then have another meet two days later on December 3rd, competing in the Milwaukee School of Engineering invite slash Parkside Open. The time and location of that invite is still to be determined. The men's and women's swimming and diving teams are also going to be off through Thanksgiving break, following a matchup against UW Stevens Point. They'll be back for their first meet afterwards on Friday, December 2nd through Saturday the 3rd, competing in the Wheaton Invite. The invite will be held in Wheaton, Illinois. While it will be the last event of 2022 for the women's team, the men's team will have another week off before they travel to Miami, Florida to take part in the CSCAA Open Water Championship on Sunday, December 18th. For more sports news and other updates, check us out at uwwtv.org. I'm Nolan Kapodlowski, and this has been your sports update on UWW-TV.